Hi, I'm Brett Larkin, and this is a super quick class to stretch you out. If you've been running, we're going to focus primarily on the IT band. So if you've been running or walking a lot, this quick flow is for you. To begin, come to the top of the mat with the feet hip width apart. Spread the toes far apart from one another. Move your weight between the ball of the foot and the heel to just fully connect your foot with the mat. A lot of times when we're running or walking a lot, we're in sneakers. So it's really nice to be able to move the toes around, really spread them as far apart as you can. Good, and then inhale, reach the arms down, around, and up. Breathe in. Mm, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, breathe in, half lift, come into your flat back. Mm, exhale, step back, plank. And you can move through chaturanga, or you can lower all the way to the floor like I'm going to, and take cobra. Mm, your in-breath, just press your hands into the floor on either side of your mat. Spin your elbows forward, take your collarbones back, and pull your navel up and in away from the mat. Breathe in. Breathe out. Good. Breathe in. Breathe out. Ripple your spine back. Down to the floor. Take your hands underneath your shoulders and press back onto all fours and then find yourself in downward facing dog. So make sure to spread the fingers as far apart from one another as you can. Just bend into one knee and then the other. Just pedaling through the leg. Good. Inhale, reach the right leg up and back. Bend the knee, stack the hips. Breathe in. Exhale, draw your knee to your nose. Good. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, step the right foot between the hands. You're going to come into a low lunge. So reach the arms down, around, and up. Look up. Plug your shoulders down your back. Firm your biceps energetically towards one another. Good. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, we're going to take Ardha Hanumanasana half split. So I want you to lengthen your front leg, flex the foot, inhale, get long, glide your shoulders down your back, and exhale, fold. Good. Breathe in. Breathe out. So option one, you can just stay here. Option two, I want you to take your left hand underneath your face and take your right hand to the sky. And from here, you want to begin pulling your right hip back in space. And if you don't feel the IT band stretch, kind of glide your heel back towards your body and then find a nice big twist. Good. You can adjust the exact placement of the left hand. We're just looking for a nice big IT band stretch on this right hip. One more breath. Nice. Exhale, re-bend into the front knee. Step it back into downward facing dog. Level one, you can just hold down dog. Level two, three, maybe you want to rock through plank all the way through cobra or take chaturanga up dog, your choice. Beyond the left leg, up and back as you're ready. Bend the knees, stack the hips. And breathe in. And breathe out. And good. Breathe in. Exhale, draw your knee to your nose just once. And good. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, step the left foot between the hands. Come into your low lunge, reach the arms down, around, and up, look. So just let your shoulders melt here so there's no tension in the shoulders. Inhale, send your biceps back in space. Just receive your breath, hear your breath. And then find the cadence of your inhale, lean back. Cadence of your exhale, take your hands down, straighten the front leg, Ardha Hanumanasana. So you wanna flex the left foot, Breathe in, glide your shoulder blades down your back. Exhale, fold. Good. Inhale, get long. And exhale, fold, glide the shoulders down the back. Good. Option one, you can just stay here. Option two, take the right hand underneath the face, so maybe a little wider um, towards the right edge of your mat, and take the left arm up towards the sky, so you're in a twist. The breath flow, hear the breath. See so if you can deliberately send your breath into the area of your left hip. And to intensify the stretch, just energetically drag your left hip back in space. Maybe move the heel a little closer to your body. Final breath. Good. Exhale. Hands frame the foot. Step it back. Plank. Chaturanga or skip it or just hold downward facing dog. 
No need to do the vinyasas if you don't want to. Walk your hands to the back of the mat. Good. I want you to take your feet hip width apart. You're gonna bend your left knee, but keep your right leg straight. So right away, maybe you feel a little stretch in the IT band. From here, take the left elbow onto the left knee. And same concept, we're gonna reach the right hand high to the sky. So again, you're looking for a stretch now on the outer right hip. Breathe in. Breathe out, spin your chest more towards the ceiling. So those of you that are really flexible or have a lot of range of motion can take your left hand down to the floor if that is accessible. Otherwise, elbow on knee is a great place to be. Last breath. Good, and then just switch it out. So you're gonna bend the right knee now and keep the left leg straight. So just feel into that as a first step. You could always have blocks underneath you here to help. And then you're gonna take right elbow to right knee, keeping the left leg straight, open the left arm, and twist to the left. Inhale really big for three counts. As you exhale, twist your body a little bit more towards the left side wall. No breath. Good. Take both hands to the floor. I want you to take your feet in a small first position. So toes out, heels touch. And you're just going to sink down into your in garland pose. So this is another great pose if you've been running or walking because it's basically an Achilles stretch, a stretch for the Achilles. So just let your heels get heavy. And if you can take your elbows to the floor, if you have that range of motion, that's great. And breathe into the low back, let the chin drop into the chest. Good, and then you can let the knees come down to the mat. We're gonna come to lie down. And if you have a strap, you can grab it. If you don't have a strap, a towel. And if you don't have any props, you don't need them, it's fine. Um, I really like to do this stretch with the strap, but it's not necessary. So you're just going to let the right leg go long, pull the left knee into the chest, and then take the left leg high to the sky. This is where if you have the strap, you can wrap the strap around the ball of the foot. Good. And then you're going to take your left hand to the left side of your body to kind of anchor you, and you're going to begin to take the left leg across the body to the right. So. If you have the strap, there's just a lot more, you have a lot more control of where the leg ends up. If you don't have the strap, your straight leg will just kind of end up where it does. And then you can maybe play with bending the knee and taking the right hand onto the outside of the right knee and coming into more of a twist. So both variations are good. The twist is a little more relaxing. If you have the strap around the foot, and you're kind of hovering the left leg parallel to the floor, it is a very deep IT band stretch. Wherever you are, I think of lengthening the left hip towards the front of your mat. So notice if the space between your hip and your rib cage has gotten shorter as you come into the stretch, think of lengthening that area. Keep the right foot flexed and long and active best you can. Two more breaths. And then bring the left leg back up high to the sky. Pull the left knee into the chest and then switch it out. So pull the right knee into the chest, let the left leg go long. Really anchor the left leg into the mat, flex the foot. And then take the strap around the right ball of foot or just lift the leg. If you don't have the strap, hold on behind the thigh. And then you're either gently with the strap, navigating the right leg across the body to the left, or if you don't have the strap, you'll just let the straight leg fall to the left. And then you'll choose whether you want to keep it straight or you maybe want to bend the right knee. Wherever you are, a few deep breaths. Keep the left foot flexed and active. Energetically thinking of lengthening your right hip towards the top of the mat. So this space between the hip and the rib cage is getting longer. You can even take your right hand there to the right hip and really press the hip down towards the top of the mat. So it's away from the rest of your body. 
Maybe spiral the pinky toes down if you have it in the strap. See how that changes the stretch at all. There's a much longer video in which I do a ton of variations in these stretches, which I'll put the link in the description box below. So if you ever have more time. Good. And then reach the leg back up to the sky. And pull the knee into the chest. And then pull the left knee into the chest as well, just giving both legs a squeeze. Good. And then you can gently rock and roll yourself up to a comfortable seat, giving the spine a little massage. And thank you so much for practicing with me and joining me for this quick little IT band hip opening sequence. If you liked it, absolutely be sure to like this video. That will help me out a lot. Leave a comment below. Let me know how it went for you. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It is the number one way that you can help me and support free yoga online. So much love from my heart to yours. Namaste. Thank you.